Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three.
Hello and welcome inside the Thunderdome. It's the Delaware Thunder and the Port Huron Prowlers round two this evening. Mike Basile in the broadcast booth alongside Matt Penzik. It is the 3-33-1 Delaware Thunder taking on the 14-23 in two Port Huron Prowlers. We're going to take you right inside the broadcast booth this evening. Mike Basile, Matt Penzik. Matt, you got a smile on your face because you're happy to be back, huh? Uh, it's great to be back and uh, coming off a win. I was wondering if I'd be allowed back, uh, <laughs> not breaking the mojo, but, you know, great to see them get a win last night and come back fashion. And, you know, I think the pressure's off a little bit now that the losing streak's over. The, you know, can play a little bit freer and try to go for two here tonight. Right, and since you've been here, a couple new faces to this Delaware Thunder team, Joe Devaney being one of them. As soon as you walked in here, you said, wow, and I agree with you. What you like that you saw from him last night? Well, that was his debut for the Thunder. I, I liked he had a goal. He had an assist. Not quite the Gordie Howe hacky <laughs> hat trick, but he did have a two minutes of penalties too. But what a debut for that guy. And, uh, you know, some of the newer names on this roster are contributing of late and getting offensive production right and one thing we talked about back in Carolina I believe it was in Binghamton penalties 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 yesterday kept it to a minimum played right. a lot of five on five and you saw what the Delaware Thunder could do at even strength yeah all goals were even strength last night so great on the penalty kill upping that number and uh, you know another opportunity tonight going against uh, a team that has struggled with a penalty kill in Port Huron they've really struggled with that during the season so if they do get the main advantage an opportunity to get some pucks in the net Trevor Babin gets the nod again tonight. Crucial Ooh. part in the win yesterday. How good was he? He was huge in that win. Uh, you know, number of East, 42 shots faced, stopped 38 of them. And a couple of those uh, 42, it was situations where you had two on one down low. So right. I think a key for the Thunder defense tonight is a little bit tighten up the back checking, clear those bodies in front of the net, and so not allow that second and third chance because eventually you're playing with fire when you get that many chances down low that close. And he did a great job in stopping them. And uh, if we tighten it up a little bit, I, you know, things are looking pretty good for Babin tonight. I agree. Delaware and Port here on live from the Thunderdome, a couple minutes away from puck drop. We'll be back in just a few.
It's hockey time from the Thunderdome. Mike Basile, Matt Penzik getting a look at the Prowlers here as we take it in on ice cam, Matt. Pretty cool, huh? I'm enjoying that. I was enjoying that last night watching at home on the YouTube channel. I, I like that cam, and I like the one in the corner there. That it was uh, when the Last time I was here, you just started debuting that one, so some good looks there tonight. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a cool, fun, new look, and we got fans tuning in tonight. We always want to know where you're tuning in from. We appreciate you. We see some names we've seen. Brian O'Dell, this guy's becoming a Thunder fan. Let's go. <laughs> and we are ready for puck drop. To our left, that's Joe Noonan wearing number 33. To our right, that's Trevor Babin. New goalie to our left, same goalie to our right. How can the Delaware Thunder kind of, you know, goalie they haven't seen much, how do you kind of get some shots going on him? Yeah, you know, I, I th well, they're starting their, you know, one of their top scoring lines. You got Devin, who had a goal last night. Markers out there, and Cangelosi, other forwards. Right, and that's exactly how we start. Devin to the attack, and Merritt takes it away as the Prowlers are right back to center. And Matt, I think we're going to see the Prowlers come out hot tonight. They lost yesterday, obviously a bit frustrated. Now today, they're going to want to even this series at 1-1. Ryan Marker behind his own net. Starts out to Tristan McKay. McKay up the near wall. That's Devaney. He stepped on the puck and goes down to the ice. Appears to be okay. As back to the attack is Merritt. Cross ice pass was behind his intended target. Marker knocks a man to the ice, and it's a two on one for Delaware. Cangelosi oh. in with Devaney, but they're offside. I think Devaney just a little bit offsides on that one ahead of the step, but they had something working there on that series. It looked like he tried to drag the foot, but he couldn't. Delaware would have had a two on one, Matt, and that's always. Always important. Face off in the neutral zone. That's Nikita Andrusenko. Been red hot. The game winning goal for the Thunder yesterday in a 6 4 win. He had goal number five. 92 seconds to go in that one. That must have been something to see. Yeah, that was a big one as the Thunder were able to come victorious last night at the Dome, the home stadium in Harrington, Delaware. Brulette, cross ice pass. That's Alex Susi. Susie left wing side, puts it towards Noonan. He makes his first save of the weekend. Back out to Brulette. Pass was in too far in front of him. And Dalton Jay's out the center working on Joey Bernard. Jay turns on the Jets, now slows things down. Cross ice, got a man right in front of him, Dante Suffrentini. Jamming away is Cade Lamnon, who had a goal last night. Nice clean up there by Susie as uh, Babin made the save, and Susie was able to clear it out and not let further scoring chances occur. Alex Susie, the new Brunswick native. Dangerous scorer for this team as Brulette as well. Another dangerous scorer walks right in. Oh, what a move, but Joe Noonan had the answer. He doesn't know it's in his paraphernalia, but he turns around, complete 180, and gets a whistle. That's almost shades of that Devaney goal last night when he just walked in. Brulette had a lot of room to work with, had that center slot, and got a good shot on net there against Noonan. As we pop our scoreboard up here, let's take a look. Ice level, there's Joe Noonan for you. Delaware's got an extra player on the ice. That's Shane Morris. He didn't realize his line's not out there. And look at this. Oh. Right in your kitchen. It's Noah Weil. Justin Laporte involved. Here comes Nick Williams. He's not shy to throw the gloves off right here. And they're pointing. Williams is pointing at Wild. I'm not sure. Brennan oh, Young oh, and oh, Noah oh, Wild. Oh, here we go. Here we go. First fight of the evening. They square it up. Young comes right in at Noah Wild. Rips him down. Young gets a right in. Gets his helmet ripped off. Wild gets a right in. Young brought down to the ice, and that's all she wrote for that fight. Mike, I'm not sure what led to that whole thing, but you, when just when they were lining up for the uh, the puck drop, you had some pushing and shoving going on, and then end up with Wild and Young. And initially, I, Wild looked like he might have been in trouble just for a split second, but then he started turning on the fist, and he clearly won that fight. Young to the locker room. He didn't have his fight strap on. That could be a misconduct for Brennan Young. Why is Noah Wild going to the locker room? Well, fireworks early in the first two minutes. Just three shots on goal, but a couple punches landed there by Noah Wild. Well, we'll try to get you caught up on that. I I'm shocked both players are in the locker room right now. That looked like both players wanted to go, willing to go combatants. Combatants, I should say. And it, it looked like a, a normal fight to me. Yeah, I think, I mean, I thought Young dropped him first. Maybe I maybe I just didn't see it, but I, he was ready to go early. And he wasn't the one that was really starting it, too, for the for, for the Port Huron end. We it's exactly what it was. It was two willing combatants in my eyes ready to go. So 
as soon as we get the update here as it comes out to Morrissey. Morrissey taken away by Justin Brazen. Brazen to the attack, good little move. Freed up Crawford, but the pass eludes him. Crawford ties up with a man. Laporte takes away the puck, chips it up the near wall. Lucchese pushes it forward, stopped right at the blue line. That looks like an offside, and it is. The linesman didn't have his whistle out. Yeah, I was wondering about that because Lucchese kept like motioning, hey, that was offsides, and we, play still continued for a couple extra seconds, but they did get the correct call on that. 100% right as we go back, and we get our first look at Anthony Merrigan here. Merrigan, a local to the Delaware area. A big addition for this Thunder team. He has three points in seven games. He has the puck now. All right. As it comes to the left, chipped in. Knocked down by Merrigan. Puck comes all the way through and knocked down. Dropped back, and here it comes, Merrigan. Thunder having a little trouble getting this puck out of their own zone. It's been there since this, uh, since the faceoff got action going again as we hit 17.35 to go in the first. Finally, we get it into the center ice. Chipped in and behind as Laporte pushes it through. Laporte takes a good hit from Justin Braz in there. He lost the glove. Out to the point, it's Merrigan. Merrigan through traffic, saved by Noonan, popped free. Joe Brennan knocks it down, and the puck comes all the way around to Merrigan. Merrigan all the way through. Morrissey lets it go by. Nobody's at the point. That's vacant. Got to give Laporte credit for taking that hit, but that allowed Delaware to keep the puck in the zone and create some more offensive opportunities. This puck comes all the way down for an icing and will reset. 17 minutes to go in period one. It's a scoreless game. Yeah, and face off will come all the way down to the Delaware defensive zone. Face off will be to the right of Trevor Babin as he's been the quieter of the two goalies thus far. <laughs> right, he's only faced one shot, it's right. <laughs> now to the point, it's the captain, Dustin Henning. Now it's Merritt, low slot. Ooh, all alone in front was Foley. He couldn't get the pass to settle for him. And now that it comes back out to Marker, Cangelosi picks it up. Cangelosi left wing side. Oh, that my. name just flows off your tongue, but he's sent into the boards as it's chipped and played through. Yeah, Graham laid a big one on him. Joe Devaney. Really dangerous playmaker, can also score. I love the way this guy plays. Ryan Marker to the attack right wing side. Ryan Marker, another native of New Jersey, as is Dan Cangelosi. Joe Devinley. Yeah, Cangelosi there with a follow, nearly got the second shot in off after Marker's shot. There's Babbins, second save of the evening on the shot from Merritt. Blocker and the pad both helped him out there, as now it's Laporte to the attack. Laporte pushes it forward just in front of the defenseman, Joe Brennan. That's different. This one goes by McKay. Going to have an icing still, which is surprising as Dalton Jay not only won the race, but I think you could say Tristan McKay could have touched that puck. I agree with you on Mike. But, you know, going back to your point about Babin after facing 42 last night, I'm sure he would prefer a quieter night. He 100% would, and this defense has improved. Look at that right out there now. Number 15, Charlie Bedard is one of the reasons this defense has improved. I think you see that in the numbers with Babin too. His uh, goals uh, or save percentage has, uh, or his goals against average has dropped a quarter of a percent over the last month. Here is Charlie Bedard, the aforementioned, chipping one towards the net to no avail there. As this game has a much slower pace than last night's game, Matt, you kind of can see. But here's Nikita Andrasenko looking to change that pace. Over to Susie, over to Brulette, fires wide, nearly bounced out to the front. Now it gets out to the front, and Andrasenko shot it into Noonan's breadbasket. And watch out, Sue, this one's up and out of play. Got a good look at that puck, Mike. <laughs> Got a good look at that puck. That thing was absolutely flying. Sue, I saved you. <laughs> Having a laugh I up here. I thought you said this was a safe zone. Oh, here. I never said that. Oh, no, you know, no, no, I, no. Must, I must have misunderstood. Uh, yeah, uh, you're putting words in my mouth. You're putting <laughs> words in my mouth. <laughs> that puck. Whoa, dangerous up here for just a second because that thing was moving, Matt. Mo and it, yeah, with some speed. Brulette has Jay's stick all over his hands. Play on as last night. The officials let them play on as well, and that's really what you want to see. Good five-on-five -five hockey. There, Bernard takes a good hack as well. Dalton Jay. Putting on the physical play this evening as these two teams meet for the second of three. 
Pushed forward, knocked down by Bernard. I think that's a thing that both coaches kind of have to keep in mind when you're playing three straight games. Just the physical toll that can take. Brulette's shot from the top of the right circle, deflected off Noonan and out of play. One second away from our media timeout. As the Thunder and the Prowlers meet, we want to know where you're tuning in from this evening. We appreciate it. Here's Anthony Merrigan, number 33 for the Delaware Thunder. Righty defenseman, tough to find. And he's got three points in seven games this season, so he can put the puck towards the net. It's one right back to him, and Laporte's got it now behind the net. Trying to work on Alex Johnson, one of the top point getters, the leading defensive point getter for the Prowlers, and he moves it to Justin Brazen. Brazen. Right in, works to the left circle, got it over to Williams for a shot right through Babin, but he looks behind him and it's still Ooh. under that pad. Babin was as nervous as we were up here and we get immediate timeout. We'll be back in a jiff. Back on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Mike Basile, Matt Penzik by my side. As the faceoff is deep in Thunder Ice after Babin looked like he had one squeak between those wickets, but he was able to shut the door down. Yeah, that was a nifty shot he faced, and uh, fortunately he was able to cover, even though he might not have known it right away. Morrissey has his shot block. Puck comes up the far wall, kept in by Merrigan nicely. He puts it towards the cage. Beautiful bounce right to Shane Morrissey. Morrissey tries to jam it to the front, gets it out to Merrigan, waits, looks through traffic, tip, rebound, Morrissey couldn't tap it home. Side of the net, nearly 1-0 Thunder, just like yesterday. Morrissey and Laporte just lurking around Noonan in that net, a couple golden chances there. 100% right as the puck is stalled at the wall. There's Dante Suffrandini playing it to nobody in particular, and it's Tristan McKay with the puck. McKay, cross-ice pass Merrigan. He was looking for Morrissey, pass never got there. Here comes Foley the other way. Foley, three on two to the attack. Foley in on the backhand. He waits, goes cross ice, right by his man Merritt. And Morrissey's out the other way, left wing side. Shane Morrissey with speed. Gains entry to Port Huron Ice. Gets some space for himself. Fires off the blocker of Noonan. Tries to go back in front. Hit the skates of Stavros Soilos. And the captain, Dustin Henning, chips it to center. This one hits McKay. Comes right to Merritt. It's a prowler bounce. And now Soilos has the puck to the O zone. Soilos in on his backhand. The defenseman's looking for some help as he just rims it around the cage. Couple men collide. Out to the front they go, trying to jam it home behind the net. We get a whistle with the puck sitting free at the circle. Yeah, McKay went down for the Thunder, uh, you know, after making some contact there behind the or along the boards behind Babin. But the play continued and Babin had to make the save. Trevor Babin's been good early. Joe Noonan's been good early. But Matt, those shots yesterday that we saw, those real dangerous ones. I haven't seen too many tonight. I, I was thinking the same thing because there was a lot of like two on one down low with multiple chances. We, good job so far by the Thunder to tighten things up and not allow those so far tonight. Scoreless game in the first. Thanks so much for joining me, Mike Basile and Matt Penzik to get a look at this Prowlers team who we see very rarely. There's Ryan Marker, the leading point getter for the Thunder. Averaging about 2.6 points a game on the year. You know, three it, assists last night. Yeah, it just, yeah. You talk about those assists. You know, he's got seven in the three games against uh, against the Prowlers. It's just odd that Marker not scoring a goal. It's, it seems like an oddity when he does not score a goal in a game, let alone he's played three against the Prowlers and he's yet to light the lamp. But he does have those seven assists. It is different. I'll tell you that. Is right off the draw. It ends up in the glove of Joe Noonan. Danny Cangelosi was in the dot there. He wears number five for this Thunder team. He's the Rockaway, New Jersey native, 5'11", 185. Big into the fitness, Danny Cangelosi is. Out to the point, it's Marker for a shot. Noonan didn't see it till late, and he gloves it down, and the shooting range is starting to begin. Starting to begin, I gotta credit Noonan though, he's not letting that rebound, and he's not letting that second chance, he's making that glove save. 
forcing the quick face-offs in the offensive zone for the Thunder. But already the Thunder with 13 shots on goal. They're out shooting Port here on 13 to four. Well, there's Joey Bernard with the puck. Another new Brunswick native. That's rare to see. Two on the same team up north in Canada as they come down to help out the Thunder. Joey Bernard came here as a winger helping out on D and Joe Devaney's to the attack. Joe Devaney over to Ryan Marker. Devaney's going to the net. They drop it off to Cangelosi. Devaney's taken down going to the net. No call as he looks around looking for one. Bernard all the way across. Here's Marker. This top line's dangerous. Cangelosi's offside by a good foot and a half and we'll get a whistle with 12.20 to go. Yeah, I think Devaney's wondering, like, hey, what happened there? Because if, if he doesn't go down, he's got a puck on his stick and a great chance at a goal. Stoltville, Ontario, Joe Devaney. Well, last night, like, the Thunder were outshot. They're already out, they're out shooting the here on 13-4 to four right now. Yeah, it's been a shooting range if we are only 7.45 into this contest. Nikita Andrusenko to the attack left wing side. Andrusenko. Puts it on the cage and it's gloved. Shot after shot. That's one thing I don't think, you know, we didn't see we didn't see this type of discrepancy. I haven't seen it in a while for, on the plus, plus side for the Thunder. Right. I agree with you 100%. It's Nikita Andrusenko behind the net. And I tell you, Matt, what they got in this Andrusenko guy is not only a goal scorer, but he's tough to play against. As out the other way comes Williams for the Prowlers. He's to the attack. Little drop pass to Braz and looks for space. Fires blocked by Merrigan. Anthony Merrigan's fenced the traffic behind him as well as he moves it forward to Susie. Look at Alex Susie go. Ooh. Takes a big bump from Nick Williams. And Susie, a bit gimpy just for a second. Brulette was looking back door off a stick and out of play with 11.40 to go. And that all started because Babin made the save and didn't, you know, there was not that second or third chance by Port Huron, and the Thunder was able to transition and get on the offensive attack. Nick Williams. Big smile after he throws the body around. And Nick Williams is not going to score your goals. He's not going to grab you many assists. But I'll tell you this, Matt, he's going to make you feel some pain. Well, Mike, he does lead the team in penalty minutes. He's over 100 on the season. So, yes, I think you are correct on that. And, you know, it's, it's always one, right? Right off the draw, Delaware has a shot go wide. That's from Shane Morrissey. Watch out. Merritt's deep in the neutral zone, but McKay cuts it off before it could get there. Right wing side, Lucchese to the attack. Fires right off the blocker of Noonan. Noonan has been solid, but like we said, those high quality scoring chances haven't been there. And you never mind shots, but the ones that Noonan has stopped, they're the ones you'd like him to stop. Yeah, Foley can. tries to work at the center, and out the other way is Suffrandini. Suffrandini's got a four on two working here. Suffrandini to the attack, Mac Graham wants it, cross ice pass knocked down by McKay. Morrissey out the other way, back and forth we go now. The game's opened up a bit. Great pass to Lucchese, right wing side, Lucchese off the blocker of Noonan. Morrissey in the slot, back door, Laporte, can he finish? Oh, cross ice, nobody home. Joey Bernard looking for his first of the year. Bernard spins it back to Laporte. Laporte top of the circle, waits, fires, Noonan's got it, 10.50 to go. Wow, the Thunder are buzzing. Those are two great chances by Laporte. He opened the scoring last night, thought he might do it again tonight here. Well, that's exactly what we thought. Joe Noonan has been solid early in this contest. Yeah, I think that's been the, you know, as far as challenging shots, that series here is probably the most you know, difficulty, if you will, he's faced tonight so far. Bernard has a shot, just padded to the corner. No problem at all for Noonan, and that's kind of one of the ones we're talking about. Dalton Jay to the attack. Oh, he's got a man with him. Dalton Jay right to the net, had it roll on a stick. Joey Bernard with a good defensive play. Vartainen behind the net, looks for a centering pass. Suffrandini wants it. Lambden gets it, jams it through the pads of Babin. Now out the other way come the Thunder. Left wing side, here's Devaney. Devaney to the attack, whoopsie doos around Henning. Lost the puck as he tried to center it over to Cangelosi, who's got the puck behind the cage now. Devaney, marker, out to the point now, Bernard. Bernard threw traffic well wide of the cage. Bounces back out in front. Cangelosi couldn't jam it home. Cangelosi out from behind the net. He looks for space. He takes a hack on the hands. Cangelosi right out to the front off the helmet of Noonan and out of play. Nice. Delaware all over Port Huron. Yeah, nice move by Cangelosi there as he got by Vertanen to fight, get that open space, get a nice look at the goal and fired a shot that did go out of play, but good job by Cangelosi. Well, would you expect this? Over 17 shots for Delaware in period one, halfway through. No, I would not expect that, Mike. 
<laughs> I don't think any team would expect that. Halfway through the first, no. <laughs> Justin Brazen, look at him move right to the slot. Brazen fires off the stick of Maritz out of play and back on the playing surface. Media timeout, 9.50 to go in period one. Back here on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Scoreless game. We've seen a ton of shots. We haven't seen a goal, Matt. Uh, you know, I was about to say that. But we were talking about the shots, and we were impressed by the number that Delaware's piled up. But we'd like to get one or two past Noonan. And here's Merrigan. Small sample size. Been impressed thus far. Look at Shane Morrissey. My apologies. Nikita Andrusenko turn on the Jets. As it's chipped towards the cage. Hits Noonan a couple times. Now they nearly jam at home. Oh, Susie would have had a wide open cage, and he finishes his man. Alex Susi not afraid to throw the body around, and I think by Sunday, Matt, we're going to see more than our fair share of fights. We've already seen one today, and that was early in the contest. I bet we have another one or two just tonight. Well, what's that saying? Familiarity breeds contempt. Well, by Sunday, these two teams should be very familiar with each other. Soilos takes a late shot from Moritz. Babin covers for the whistle. Well, we've seen a lot of those this period as well. Whistles. 9.14 to go in the first. Yeah, it's you know a lot of those were because Noonan was just making that glove save and not putting the puck back into play. That's where we were in the middle part of the first period. Uh, you know, it's been spurts. We've had those fast-paced scoring chances, and then we kind of have those slow stops too. Haven't seen Young or Wild back out yet in the, in the room still. Foley nearly had that one in the neutral zone, but it's Lucchese to the attack. Soilos with a great defensive play, and it's chipped forward. McKay makes a good defensive play, takes it away from Merritt. Cross ice we go, and a bit of a sloppy pay spill by the Thunder now. Matt Graham thought he had that in his paraphernalia, but it's out the other way with Morrissey. Morrissey lost it to Matt Graham, and Foley plays it into space. Behind the net, it's Joe Brennan for the Thunder. Foley, Graham, shot, ends up off the pads of Babin. Comes to Merritt. Suffrandini from the point through. Traffic comes through. Foley on the doorstep. Nearly had a great A chance. Babin got a poke check on it. Nearly lost his twig. Out to the point. Good little play by Laporte to force a turnover. And it's a three on two for the Thunder if they hurry. Morrissey chips it into space. Lucchese can't skate into it. Graham watches this one go over his head. And Joey Bernard's back in Thunder Ice with 8-12 to go in period one. Yeah, thank you Trevor Babin on that one because there was all alone on that. And he, it was, he, he made the pad save to keep it a scoreless hockey game. And Foley from Belleville, Ontario. That's Evan Foley. He's been good as this one's played forward by Charlie Bernard. Haven't seen much of him tonight, just a couple shifts. Gets the puck to Marker, and he shot it into the pads of Noonan. That's Noonan's best save of the evening. Dalton J, here he comes with Cade Lambden to his left. J gains Delaware ice over to Lambden. Now Jay's going to the net. Drop pass instead for Vartainen. They try to work it through. Devaney finds it in his skates, and here comes Cangelosi. It's been back and forth. Cangelosi working on Henning. Got it to Marker for a shot off the stick of Henning and out of play, and that's a puck we'll never see again <laughs> as it sits up on top. Oh. Lambden and Devaney. Yeah. Bernard involved. Look at Bernard holding Henning. I tell you, Lambden not the biggest in size. Yesterday, got into a tilt with Noah Wild. He's not afraid to throw the body. Just as we were mentioning him, he scores a goal. Funny how that works. And, you know, and Devaney, just, I don't, he, didn't, he didn't want any part of that and he kept his cool, even though he caught, I thought he got a couple cheap jabs, if you will. Devaney talking on the bench to a couple guys in white. As that first line, Matt, we talked about him, and that first power play unit yesterday, real, real dangerous. We've played 
good bit of this first period, and we've seen a ton of this line as Williams just makes a good little play there as it ends up out to center. And here's Cade Lambden. We talked about how dangerous he could be. Lambden's to the attack. Berdard shut down the first pass. Second pass comes back to Lambden. Out in front, looking for Dalton Jay. He finds it behind the net, over skates, gets it right back. Jay back to Cade Lambden. Lambden out to Vertinen, and Babin said no with the right pad. Here they come. The Port Huron Prowlers said, okay, Delaware, now it's our turn for an on rush. Around the boards it comes. Here's Stavro Soilos. Knocked down by Joey Bernard in the near corner. He's been a good addition, and Lambden hits him up high. Bernard not happy, is out the other way as Ryan Marker. Marker on his backhand, puts one towards the net. Newton got the pad on it, tried to go back to Devaney. And now it's Dalton Jay. Giveaway, Devaney right to the slot, couldn't control it. Bernard lost the tire in the neutral zone. Delaware still to the attack. Merrigan with a good keep. His shot was negated by Dalton Jay, and it comes back to center. And that opportunity negated because they only had the, they only had four skaters on the ice for a period of time there. Merrigan is finished on a check on the far side of the ice. There's Justin Brazen. He was traded from this Thunder team to Port Huron for Dan Cangelosi. Both players playing against each other tonight. Alex Susi, left wing side. To Prowler Ice, got Andrew Sanko with him. Pass never got there. Moritz got a piece of this, but out the other way, it'll be Williams. Up to Brawson. Brawson, we haven't seen that shot get released. Now we do, but Babin's got that one. And Moritz nearly ends up on top of Babin with 5.54 to go in the first. Now Babin with the cover, no second shot. Still remains scoreless. Well, I tell you, Matt, this game has been so much different than last night. It's been just, it's been fast, but it's been choppy and sloppy. It's its had its moments, and then, yes, and then there's been that, that slow in the neutral zone turnover type stuff. Exactly how it's been. Mark Antoine Brulette, one of the goal scorers yesterday, gives it away here to Suffrandini. Babin has absolutely no problem with that as Brennan gets there before Justin Brazen can. Brazen, bit of a pest in the O zone there, just hacking at the hands of Joe Brennan as the puck comes out the other way. Dustin Henning with it. As we talked about, he wears the C, has a ton of pro experience under his belt, does Justin Henning. Out to the slot it comes for a shot that goes well wide of the cage. Crawford was going to the net. Crawford has the puck go over his stick. Matt Graham watches it pass by him. And Joe Brennan chips it deep behind Joe Noonan. Joe on Joe crime here. <laughs> as the puck ends up on the stick of Isaiah Crawford. Yeah. All the way across Foley, here's a breakdown. Foley left wing side, McKay getting back, got Graham with him over to Graham, pass just eludes him. I think Babin would have got over anyway. Graham to Merritt. Once again, the Prowler setting it up. Merritt turns on the Jets, goes out to the point with it. Space, fires a shot well wide, more of a pass as this one comes behind the net and Graham tries to work it through. Gets it to his man, out to the front all alone. Foley, Babin comes out and meets him right at the top of the blue paint. Media timeout, 4.44 to go in period number one. Take you down to ice level as it's a 0-0 hockey game in the first. Yeah. Matt, we're having a good time up here. I was about to say before that uh, flurry by the uh, Prowlers, it, it, I think one thing that we were seeing that was good for Delaware is that they weren't allowing that sustained pressure. Babin makes a save, puck's going back the other way. So that was uh, one of the few times where Port Huron was able to have sustained pressure on Babin, and he made the save, and here we are. 444 to go, no score, despite Mike, 33 total shots in this period. Crazy. I know the coaching staff on both teams are going to be looking at the stats after <laughs> period one and say, what happened here? As always, we do appreciate you tuning in. We love to hear where you're tuning in from, who you're watching for, Delaware or Port Huron, as it's Stavro Soilis out with a shot. And Soilis 
a little bit of a dangerous shot through traffic. Babbitt picked it up late. Yeah, I thought, yeah but, you know, I, he did have that clear path that, you know, there wasn't the bodies in front to screen him, so I think that allowed him to pick it up late and make the save. Yeah. Try to go right back out to Soilis, but it hit the skate of Lucchese and comes behind the net. Morrissey's behind the defense. Berdar's going to try to get it there, and that's one of those passes that was rushed. Sam Merritt now, right wing side. Merritt to the attack, fires a shot. Bernard got a piece, nearly changed direction on Babin. Lucchese pushes it forward. Good little defensive play there by Alex Johnson, and he's right back to the Ozone. Johnson's got Evan Foley, top of the slot. Back door, great save, Babin. Rebound, Graham. Oh, Babin got it with the pad again. You've got to be kidding me, Trevor Babin. Merritt back in his own zone with it. Matt, we can't save anything. Morrissey in, save Noonan. Oh, my, that was dangerous. I'll take a second to breathe, Matt. Go ahead. Well, it just seemed like a moment ago we were saying the shot discrepancy was heavy in Delaware's favor. I think that's starting to change a little bit as Port Huron is narrowing that gap. And we're seeing more dangerous chances, one each way there. As that shot goes wildly wide, and Morrissey works it back to his defenseman, Charlie Bedard. And you said it before the game, Bedard, Bernard, that's got to be fun. <laughs> just imagine when they're on together. Even if you see the nut, you might be thinking one and say the other. It's got to be a tricky one to call for you. There's Johnson up to Dalton J. Jay. Jay's got Kane Lambden with him. He's trying to work on Anthony Merrigan here. Merrigan works it back out to center through Dan Cangelosi. Cangelosi, drop pass, not the play as they go a step offside with Justin Laporte. Yeah, Cangelosi again a few strides uh, ahead of the blue line after he made the pass to try to set something going. Well, reminding you, these two teams meet again tomorrow afternoon. A Sunday matinee, a 3 o'clock affair between these two teams. I'm waiting to write down my first goal of the night. I haven't been able to yet, Matt. Who is it going to be, Delaware or Port Huron? As we have the fans from both teams tuning in tonight. And I know they're thinking the same thing we are. Who's going to light the lamp first after 10 goals yesterday? And I think with the flurry that we've seen, it's surprising that we don't have a goal, so it's credit to both goaltenders. Lambton has it go through his legs, and the shot is swallowed up by Babin. Case in point. <laughs> with 2.57 to go. Right on cue there, Matt, as you got to love the broadcaster. Somewhat of a jinx there, nothing too crazy. That's Larry Vartayanen. Yeah, Babin had that one all the way. He had a, nothing in front of him, just a clear look at that blast. The Finnish native there. We got Caleb and Nick Williams on this team. Genoa, Ohio for Caleb and Nick is from Davison, Michigan. Pretty local to the Port Huron area. It seemed like looking at that uh, Prowler loss, there are a lot of Michigan players on it. Marker moving forward. Cangelosi left wing side, three on two. Brazen helps out defensively as he knocks the puck away before Marker could get there. Marker out of the left wing corner, out to McKay. He's got time and space. His shot's blocked by Brazen, though, who just stepped up in the nick of time. McKay tried to go towards the net. Noonan awkwardly knocked that one to the corner. Devaney finds it. Out to the point it comes. Merrigan, right point, time, space. Back door, Cangelosi shot it wide. No penalties in period one. That resulted in a manpower change, just the two fighting. Pucks chipped in deep. Cangelosi has a lot to say to Justin Brazen. And Tristan McKay works out for Delaware. Yeah, both teams making line changes here in the final going of the first period. A little bit sloppy in the neutral zone was Devaney as he gave it up. And here's Nikita Andrusenko taken down. Devaney to the attack, worked by Nick Williams. He's brought down from behind, and the refs are really letting him play here tonight. And sometimes that works in the team's favor. Other times it gets a little wild. We'll see. Yeah, it could, could be a point of frustration. Graham cross-ice pass, and they score. Alex Johnson, we talked about him in the open, and it's 1-0 Prowlers. Such a well-played first period for Delaware, and such a shame to see that happen with uh, under two minutes to go in the period as it is the Prowlers that get on the board first. Well, back one way, Delaware was looking for a call. Back the other way, the Prowlers make it 1-0. 1.41 to go in the first, Matt. You touched on it. It's a really nice looking first period. The pucks moved well by Delaware. A little sloppy in the neutral zone. A giveaway and back the other way come the Prowlers. And really quiet in the arena here. Right wing side, Evan Foley right back to the attack. Good play by Joey Bernard as that pass could have been dangerous. And Alex Susi takes a bump from Matt Graham. 
Nikita Andrasenko plays it forward, and here comes the Thunder. Andrasenko's going to the net. Brulette got it over to Andrasenko. He couldn't put the shot towards the cage. Nick Williams and Sam Marritt bottle him up. Bernard puts a puck right into his own skates, finds it, and it was blocked by Susie in front unintentionally, I'm sure, and then it's deflected up and out of play by Joe Noonan. Andrasenko had the stick way high. Blast that one, but it, the way that puck got to him, it sort of took him out of position, and he wasn't able to crank it up. Well, it was going to be a big blast if we saw it, but we didn't get to see it. And the Thunder and the Prowlers are still in a 1-0 hockey game here. Yeah, Johnson was the one who scored for Port here on, and that was his uh, 14th of the season. Morrissey off the draw, tip in front, Lucasio, if he got the backhand off, he had a bit of a yawning cage. Right wing side, here come the Prowlers. Dalton Jay, great little pass. Bartayan and cross ice, bouncing, bouncing in the blue paint, and Lambden couldn't pull the trigger. Here comes Lucchese the other way. Lucchese drops it off for Morrissey, and once again, the Thunder are offside. It seems to be a problem here in the first period. A number of these uh, you know, counter rushes have been negated by that offsides. Lucchese far from happy, as the line's been telling him what happened here. We got 47 seconds to do something here. Lambden and Laporte going at it. And Lambden's, uh-oh, that's got to be a penalty. I don't think Chop it at is, the legs, though. and now Lucchese's getting involved. Here we go. I mean, Lambden instigated that against Laporte, but, yeah, you, you might think it's a penalty, Mike, but I don't think one's coming, Our, at least off of that. No, you got Moritz and Henning talking now a little bit. They're still going, Laporte's still going at it with them. And Laporte and Lambden are now looking like they're having a bit of a friendlier talk here. And Laporte is <laughs> off the ice, one of the nicest guys you'll, you'll meet as Lambden chips it forward right by Merrigan. And Lambden might win this race, and he does. Cade Lambden does not care about his size as this guy has been dangerous. And they're going to put Merrigan in the box. And Delaware's not going to be happy with this. Merrigan's going to go for a rough. And he's still jamming away at Lamb, and he's got to be careful here. Yeah, I got to Daisy skates by. Sorry, man. Yeah, let's go ahead. I, you know, just feel like with Lamb, I think he's the type of player, he draws penalties because he's that pest. Every team has a pest, and the job, one of the jobs of the pest is to get the other guys to lose their cool and uh, commit a penalty, and I think Lamb did his job there. Now Alex Johnson comes to the Thunder bench talking to Justin Laporte. Wow. Face off will be to the right of Babin. As Alex Johnson, Justin Laporte. I'm, well, it didn't sound friendly, did it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Delaware's um, on the We Sell Del penalty language. kill. <laughs> colorful language, Mike. <laughs> That's what it was, Matt. It's the We Sell Dell penalty kills. The puck comes behind the net. Ten seconds left in period number one, Matt. And looks like one last rush here. Alex Johnson in no rush. Oh, nearly gave it away to Cangelosi. Marit left wing side. Walks right in. Babin makes the save. Comes back out to Johnson. Quick shot as the period expired. It's blocked by Lucchese. He's down. And Johnson, Cangelosi didn't like that. He skated right by Lucchese after he blocked that one off the pad. After one period of play, one nothing. Port here on Matt. We'll be back. Talk about it.
Mike Basile, Matt Penzik in the booth after one period of play. Shots, one goal, penalties, chirping. What didn't we have in period one, Matt? We had the penalties early, too, in the form <laughs> of a – it was a pretty good fight there. It was a good tilt. It was a good tilt. And, Matt, Delaware played a good period. Unfortunately, they give up a goal late in that period. Now they're shorthanded starting period, too. Special teams is super important. What has to happen? Yeah, well, you know, Delaware, you know, you talked about it, I think, in the pregame or early on that, you know, they've done a better job defensively. Now they're going to have to do a little better job on that PK uh, with uh, with Port Huron. Also, I think one thing that does help the penalty, it, the power play is split up a little bit. They had about 30 seconds of power play time at the end of the first period, so it's not going to be that full two minutes. They'll have about 90 seconds to work with. Uh, but, you know, for uh, Delaware, it, I think for most of that, for three quarters of the first half, I, I think defensively it's where you wanted to be. Babin making saves. Not, you know, there was not that second or third opportunity by Port Huron, but it tended to go a little sideways towards the end. And at one point where the shot ratio was – about three to one in favor of Delaware, three to one ratio. It's now the 24 21. So Port Huron came on late, firing pucks at Babin, and they got one to go late. I can't believe how many shots we saw in just one period of play. I could tell you what Matt Graham's saying. I could tell you what Coach Penz is saying. Limit the shots on goal. That is 100% what is being said right now in the locker room. We'll come back a little closer to second period, talk keys to period.
star. They the officials fake. are back out on the ice. That's my bad there. The officials are back out on the ice for period number two as the Prowlers and the Thunder meet for the second time in a row. Two of three, Matt. And we want to talk keys to period two. I know we talked a lot in period one about the neutral zone. Back and forth, back and forth. How did the Thunder slow down the Prowlers and vice versa? Well, I think they did a good job for most of that first period. They, I thought they controlled the pace, and they were the ones that were dictating things on the offensive end. I think it was just towards the end where that's when Port Huron sort of made up ground in that shot, shots on goal department, and they were the one to, to get the goal. But I don't think Delaware needs to do make big adjustments on defense because for the most part, they played well. Babin played well. He, he, there weren't those second and third opportunities like we saw last night when he had two guys down low again with one defender back and Babin just just standing on his head, as they say, to, to make the save. So I don't think there's a lot of, that needs to be done on that. And uh, here's one for you. I'll throw a theory out to you. You got Dalton J 30 goals this season. You got Ryan Marker 30 goals this season. I think the guy that's going to have the better of the two periods here, two and three, that's good. His team's going to get the win tonight. <laughs> yeah, anytime Ryan Marker's on the ice, you got to keep an eye out for him. Anytime Dalton Jay's out on the ice, you got to keep an eye on him. But now, with a couple new additions, you got to watch out for Joe Devenay. You got to watch out for Justin Brazen. It's just there's danger everywhere between these two teams, and one nothing first off is crazy after 44 shots in a period. Absolutely, and it, we, we were saying the, with the shot total where it was at the 10-minute mark, I think there was over 30 at that point, it was surprising that we did not have a goal with that much heat on both goaltenders. <laughs> yes, yes, we appreciate everybody tuning in, having a great time tonight. Thank you so much as we enjoy it. We see Main Street Prowlers in here. That means they're rooting for Port Huron, I would think. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right, but... I know they're looking for a Port Huron tally on the power play, and a couple of the Thunder fans in here are looking for a kill, and Dan Cangelosi's going to start the kill with a rush here, and Dan Cangelosi finishes Evan Foley hard into the boards. Carrying the puck and, and throwing the body. <laughs> Dan Cangelosi has been a great addition to this team as Cangelosi puts a whack on the skates of a Prowler, and Evan Foley sets up the power play. Here he is, Foley left wing side. He looks for help. Foley goes over to Matt Graham. Graham out of the corner. Back to Foley. Foley behind the net, centers it. Got a man, Merritt, bounced on him, and it's Alex Johnson at the point, settles a bouncing puck. Cross-ice pass goes all the way to Vertainen. Vertainen over to Johnson. Johnson back to Vertainen, fires a shot. Babin had the answer, as he usually does. Behind the net it comes. Here's Evan Foley. Foley looks for space, finds it, and gets it up to Matt Graham. Graham all the way cross-ice pass. Prowler's really moving the puck well right now as it comes back to Alex Johnson at the point. Shots blocked by Lucchese and out of play. Now moving the puck well, Mike, but you know at the same time it's not with that rapid pace, so it allows Delaware to adjust and rotate the box to where the puck's going to be and not giving them that shooting lane. All right, as we go inside the glass as we see the Prowlers and the Thunder taking a look at our new behind-the-net cam. It's a pretty good look right here at Brandon Lucchese as get up close and personal look at the Thunder and the Prowlers. This puck comes behind the cage, rimmed around hard, knocked down by Dante Suffrendini. Suffrendini gave it away to Lucchese, who has a couple words for Suffrendini as these two teams are not the biggest of fans here tonight. This one comes around, knocked down by Lucchese, chipped back in, knocked down by Joe Noonan. Back and forth we go, 10 seconds left to the power play. The quick up pass finds Dalton Jay, he just chips it forward. And there's Trevor Babin coming way out of his crease, and the puck never got to him. He was ready to make the save, but Cade Lambden gave it up at the blue line. Justin Brazen played it forward. Giveaway, and here's Susie left wing side. Alex Susie top of the circle, off the glove of Noonan and over the cage. Justin Brazen knocked off the puck from behind. Nikita Andrasenko finds it. Cangelosi's going to the net. The puck's chipped wow. up and right into the glove of Noonan, who's been real <laughs> solid tonight. <laughs> Ozzy Smith uh, glove play on that one. But you, you got to love that as a, as a team that on the offensive tack. Susie comes out of the penalty box and right. The puck finds his stick and creates that opportunity. It's been a good contest. And I do think this, Matt, we're seeing a couple goals this period. I think so. I'll, I agree with you on that. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, just, I, I, I'm gonna go with that marker line. Someone from that is gonna bust one in. I would heavily agree. I'm calling it. 
Henning pushes it forward. Bernard knocks it down before Graham could get there. Graham also acts as the coach for this Prowlers team. Alex Johnson, another player assistant coach. And the old player coach. A rare C as Devaney tried to push onward, but Foley knocked it away as it comes back out to center. And the Thunder will set it up out of their own zone. A little sloppy passing in their own end as they still try to push forward. And they give it away to Dustin Henning. Henning left wing side, gains Thunder Ice. Henning stops, goes behind the net, all the way around Joe Devaney. Devaney pushes it forward, takes a bump from Graham, and right wing side. Now Marker a step offside as Devaney might have gotten slashed back in the neutral zone. He's slow, and Charlie Bedard had a couple words there. Yeah. Devaney's hunched over coming to the bench. Not what the Thunder want to see. I th there's just an offsides call, and again, you know, I mean, if there's one thing that one negative you're going to point to for Cangelosi tonight, it's about three or four times that he has gone off sides on an offensive rush. And I believe it was uh, Cangelosi and Marker having a chat with the linesman as a bit of a wave going on as Berdard throws one from well outside the blue line and it's knocked away no problem. Here's Mark Antoine Brulette. Scored a goal last night, centered and pass, rolled in on Noonan and he just flips it to the corner. Right wing side, it's Dalton Jay. Look at him turn on the Jets, Matt. Right wing side, shot right into the breadbasket of Babin, ramped off the stick of Joe Brennan. Yeah, dangerous to Jay, he's the leading scorer. He's, he's got 30 on the season, but uh, again, that was uh, no, no traffic in front of Babin on that one, and it really wasn't a hard shot off the stick of Jay, so say by Babin and still one nothing Port Huron in the lead. I will not forget the goal that Dalton Jay scored against the Delaware Thunder in Port Huron when he just came down the wing and it looked like he had nothing to shoot at, and he picked the tightest of corners to take it away. Susie firing up the bench, and that turned that game around in the Prowlers' favor, Matt. They were able to go on to win that contest. Two close games in Port Huron, let's not forget. So we have a tie-up right near the boards. Cade Lambden was involved. He spilled down to the ice. We have a Thunder player down on the ice trying to see who yeah. that is. I believe Luke it's Lucchese. Lucchese. Yeah. Looked like he took a stick up high, or the puck got him up high. It was one of the two. It was well, tough puck, to see. Yeah, puck's right near him, so you know, I think one or the other. See what's up with Lucchese. It looks like he's all right. But he's been involved in a little bit of everything in this first period. He was able to do a good job on the PK, and then, um, you know, as you said, he had uh, yeah, a little jawing action going there with a couple of the uh, Prowlers. Stay, he's coming to the basket. I thought he might stay on the ice, but here he comes on the bench, and it looks Delaware's, like he had a line change. Yeah, Delaware's going to make a line change. You're exactly right, Matt. But, yeah, these teams, you know, it's been close. The, 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 those games up in Port here on one-goal games. Williams and Susie, are they going to go right off the draw? They were talking. My apologies, Matt. That's why I gave yep. you a look here as it looked like they were going to go. Williams finishes a check on Susie, and there's another one as these two have been talking most of the light. Brulette taken today. down by Nick Williams from behind. And there's been a couple infractions on players without the puck in this game. You know, I mean, we said the referees are letting them play, but at some point when you, when you get those shots on you, the frustration's going to boil over at some point. Right, and Susie flips it behind the net. Williams wants to go, Susie. Susie tries to jam it towards the front of the net to no avail. And Nick Williams, just one of those guys, he takes you off your game. As the Prowlers are to the attack, it's Dalton Jay. Centering pass, Cade Lambden. Babin's got it between the wickets. What a save by Trevor Babin. Babin keeping this just a 1-0 game. Uh, wow. <laughs> and, you, you know, with Williams, you look at him, I mean, that's a big body uh, uh, with that guy laying on there, there. That's Trevor Babin for you. So quick laterally as he slides over from post to post to make the save, and he gets a big cheer from the home crowd. Face off will be to the right of Babin. Brazen pushes it forward. Bedard finds it. Four minutes have come and gone in the second period that hasn't seen a goal. Has seen a couple shots each way. Brazen looking to change that. His shot goes high and wide. And that thing is absolutely lethal, that shot. Dante Suffrandini's shot is blocked on the way through. And it's good to see Devaney back on the ice. He's taken down. There's a penalty as Cangelosi pushes it forward. Suffrandini's going to be able to touch the puck and will have a power play for the Thunder. It's Brazen going to the box for a trip. He's not happy. This is one of the things we talked about in the keys of the game, Mike, is uh, you know, Port Huron does struggle on the penalty kill, so Delaware with their first power play on the night, opportunity to get the equalizer. 
We'll see, Matt, as it was Braz into the box, wearing number 24 for this Prowlers team. Little Canada, Minnesota native, 6'1", 210, known for his shot. As here's the power play we talked about. Look at it. Cangelosi, Susie, Marker, Devaney, Morrissey. Wow. Devaney down low. Here's Susie. Watch Delaware set it up with one of the top units that they've had all year. Morrissey, power playing. Quarterbacking the power play, I should say. Marker out to Morrissey. Morrissey steps into one. Tip just wide of Noonan by Susie. Now Susie, you're right there in front of Noonan screening him. Devaney over to Cangelosi, and it comes back to Morrissey as the shot was blocked by Foley. Morrissey walks the blue line, fakes a pass. Don't see that too often. This time he does get it over to the leading point getter, Ryan Marker. Down low it comes. Here's Joe Devaney. Devaney looks for space, finds some space, cross ice Ryan Marker. He's got time, works out to the blue line. He just sends it behind the net with a minute 10 to go to the power play. Henning lost his stick. Now it's a five on four and a half. Henning, Henning finds that stick. Goes back to Susie. great little play by Henning as he just got the stick back and Noonan's forced to cover as Susie just poked one on the cage. 14.41 to go, a minute to the power play. We'll be back on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. to the period. Babin and Merritt having a talk. I don't think it's anything too bad as they're shrugging their shoulders each as yesterday I know Matt you said you were watching from home comfortably in your living room. Feet up, popcorn, hot chocolate. What else did you have? <laughs> we oh, don't know. Might have been an adult beverage involved. <laughs> I'm sure there was. Marker right wing side. Got Cangelosi cross ice. Can't work the pass there so he goes to Morrissey at the point. Morrissey feathers one down low to Cangelosi. Delaware looking for their first goal of the evening. Cangelosi out to Morrissey. It's poked away. Marker with a good keep right at the blue line. Ryan Marker sets it up over Cangelosi. Marker back out. Point. Goes down low. Cangelosi. Cangelosi out of the corner. Takes a hack from Soilis. Stavro Soilis. Hasseling. Cangelosi from behind. Centered it out. All the way out to the point. Devaney. Devaney bombs away. Blocked on the way through. Dalton Jay's got time to clear. And he does. Only as far as the red line. Alex Johnson all over Devaney. Devaney hit Morrissey from behind and Dalton Jay's going to be going forward with this puck. Looks like the Prowlers are offside. They're not and Johnson shot it wide. Oh, it looked like the linesman was ready to blow it dead for an offside. Uh, yeah, I, was, I, I thought for a moment out of the corner of my eye, I thought the arm was about to go up, but it didn't. And then Johnson done all alone against Babin. Ryan Marker to the attack, shot it wide. That's his lethal shot as this one comes all the way around. And it's through to Justin Brazen, fresh out of the box. Centering pass. Taken away by Devaney. Devaney's got a man in front of the play. It's Lucchese. Lucchese with Laporte, but Alex Johnson got back to make the play. Johnson is finished into the boards. He goes down, and Lucchese's going to go to the box. I just sense the frustration with Lucchese in this period. You know, he's had a couple of uh, verbal battles, if you will, with a couple of the Prowlers, and now it looks like he'll be going to the box, and Port Huron will be on the power play for the second time tonight. 0 for 1 on that one that carried over from the first of the second period. Lucchese to the box. It's going to be a hold, not a board. Mm. As it could have went either way. Most importantly, Alex Johnson appears to be okay. Got a little dangerous there uh, with a shorthanded situation for the Thunder. You know, Dalton Jay's got three shorties on the season, so when he's on the, and he was nice for the second half of that power play, and he was involved in some of those uh, breakaways that Port Huron had, but fortunately for the Thunder, none went in the net, and they still trailed only by one. Face off will be to the left of Babin as the power play gets underway. Here's Soyless with the puck, top of the left point. Soyless, Cade Lambden, poked out of the zone by Nikita Andrusenko, Jeff Harnick with a Boo commercials, yay hockey. <laughs> he does not like the media timeouts. And 
We want to watch the hockey as well as this one spun back. Dante Suffrendini behind his net. Here's Soilis as Suffrendini will play it out of his own zone. It's a 1-0 hockey game. It's been a good one as the Prowlers are off to the O zone and Brazen gave it away right at the blue line. And the puck comes behind the net. And Soilis starts it out. This period, we haven't seen too many crazy chances to score, have we, Matt? No, and you know, I got right now the Thunder doing a nice job on the penalty kill as they really haven't allowed Port Huron to set up. And just as I say that, here they go. Easy save, right into the bread basket of Trevor Babin, who gets a roar from the home crowd. Yeah, Babin has faced now 26 shots. But you know, I think again, getting our, you know, we've made this point several times, but. It seems like tonight, you know, the, the second opportunity, the third chance wasn't there where Port Huron was digging a lot down low last night. They've not been, they've, they've not really had those chances tonight so far. Morrissey tries to chip it out to the neutral zone to no avail. Matt Graham's looking for a pass. Now he's looking for a shot. Bernard blocks it painfully. Yeah. We'll he's, see if we get a whistle here. He's, he's back down. to his feet. Centering pass, good save, rebound. Under Babin somehow poked free and jammed home. Sam Merritt right on the doorstep. And it's 2-0 Prowlers. And Joey Bernard's in serious discomfort here. Yeah, he was down, so that left Delaware you know, sort of a you know, already down on the power play. And then with that puck right around the net, the scramble, and uh, you know, Babin was down a little bit, just left a little too much of the net. And, and now we have a 2-0 game. Port Huron with the power play goal. So they do get a PPG, now one for two on the night, Merritt in the scoring column, and he got one last night too. And Bernard goes straight to the room here. He'll get looked at by the fantastic medical staff of this Delaware Thunder team. As the puck goes in behind the Thunder net, there's Merrigan, haven't seen much of Merrigan today as he's back out here. And this one rimmed around, there's Devaney. Look at that stick work. All the way across to Cangelosi. Merrigan chips it through. Cangelosi finds it. Cangelosi works it over to Marker. Marker out to the front. Cangelosi jams away. Can't bang it home. Merrigan finds it. Over to Moritz. Moritz down low. Marker. Look at this little setup by Delaware. They know they need a goal trailing by two. Cross ice Merrigan. Merrigan slows down the puck and works it over to Cangelosi. Cangelosi on the backhand. Noonan deflects it out of play. And we'll get another whistle. Well, this is what I think we've been waiting for in this period is to sustain pressure by the Thunder. They really haven't had that, and you know, the, the, they were able to get a couple good shots there, and they'll still get an offensive zone faceoff. As the Thunder and the Prowlers square off again here tonight, one more time tomorrow, Sunday action. Tristan McKay at the point, has his shot blocked, and here is Dalton Jay. Joe Brennan trying to get back. Jay from the circle. Oh, what a save by Babin. Popped free for just a second, and we get a whistle. Dalton Jay on the breakaway is so dangerous. This guy's got 30 goals on the season, almost had 31 there, but Trevor Babin says no soup for you, denies the shot, keeps Jay scoreless tonight. As the Thunder and the Prowlers are really, really trying to get this score up. A couple good chances both ways. It's 2-0 in favor of Port Huron. Here's Charlie Bedard, right wing side. He chips it forward. Susie's going to win this race between him and Dante Suffrendini. Tie up. Andrasenko ran over Susie. He got Susie with his stick, and Suffrendini's going to go to the box. It looked like it was Andrasenko who hit Susie with the stick. Mike, we went like 19 minutes, 30 seconds of the first period without a penalty. And, you know, we've had a couple power play opportunities already here halfway through the second period. This will be the Thunder's second on the night. 10.57 to go in period number two. And Delaware will be up a man with Dante Suffrendini in the box. So they got their top line out there. Hoping to pull this one to within one, trailing 2 nothing. Right. Faceoff will be to the left of Joe Noonan. Out to the point, Shane Morrissey. 
Works it over to Joe Devaney. Devaney back to Morrissey. Morrissey over to Devaney, cross ice marker. Look at the pretty passing, and Joe Noonan makes the big save right in his bread basket. A good save by Noonan. Susie was there attempting to get the screen or maybe a loose puck if that rebound came, but Noonan uh, be able to cover right away, not allow the rebound. Face off to the left of Noonan. Prowlers and the Thunder live from the Thunderdome. Cancelosi wins it back to Morrissey. Morrissey walks the line. He looks for space, works it over to Marker. Marker, Morrissey, catch, catch, catch. Marker over Devine. He fires, and Noonan made the save, and the net popped free. I got to feel like it's just a bad bit of luck there because they had something going. There was some room to work with on that side, and if, with the rebound coming back out, there could have been a second chance. Fortunately, the net comes off, and play a stop for a faceoff. Yeah, Joe Noonan. Couple good saves tonight. That might have been his best. He, do, you know, he, just, he doesn't allow the rebounds. No, he has he's not. He's just quite comfortable covering up and settling things down. Not the biggest goalie out there, but he's quick. And his quickness paid dividends right there. Only 20 seconds into the power play. Puck hasn't left the Prowler zone yet. Face off one back, tie up. Cangelosi brings down his man. Puck worked over to Morrissey. Cross ice pass, Brulette wanted it, Pangelosi jams it home. It's a power play goal for the Thunder and it's 2-1. How about Cangelosi, 12th game of the season in a Thunder uniform, his seventh goal and just like that, the Thunder are back within one. We're talking about Port here on not having a great penalty kill. Delaware gets one on the penalty on the power play right there. Matt Graham, I think he's talking about right before the goal, the little tie-up that Cangelosi was well, involved that, in. That definitely did help. <laughs> Taking did. a look at Joe Newton from Providence, Rhode Island, played at Johnson Wales and University of New England, has some success here with this Prowlers team. He gives up the first one of the night as the Thunder finally break through right at the halfway mark of the game almost, just 25 seconds away. Foley plays it behind the net. The Prowlers are going to push on here as they want to get that two-goal lead back. Foley ties up. Buck pushed forward. Here's Brulette. Brulette's going to try to even things out. Left wing side, Mark Antoine Brulette. Great move, gets free. Noonan makes the save. And he goes down in the crease. And Graham gives Mark Antoine Brulette a shot. And now Susie gets a shot from Graham. Brulette gets one in. And here comes the bad blood we talked about. Look at Merritt with it, you know, he's pulling. Look at this. He is pulling on Andrusenko. Andrusenko finally lost it. He spun around and gave a shot. Pegs are on the floor. Yeah, you got a whole mess there with the net, net off its moorings. Alex Johnson and Andrusenko having a talk. And, I, you know, it, I mean, Johnson's was stride for stride with Brulette, but, uh, you know, he, he definitely pestered him enough to not allow him to get the, the full extension on the shot. That was a great opportunity by Brulette. No penalties coming out of this, so we'll skate five on five. That's exactly what we will do. Five on five hockey at the Thunderdome. Next whistle, barring a goal, is our media timeout. Face off to the left of Joe Noonan. He sprays the pegs. And you know what I've liked about Joe Noonan? He's calm, cool, and collected here tonight. Yeah, he's I've had a couple altercations right in front of him. He hasn't gotten involved. He skates away. He helps the pegs as Andrusenko goes <laughs> right through Merritt. <laughs> you like that one? A little bit, of, you know, but I think that's a good way to describe his play. I think, you know, when he makes those glove saves, not allowing the rebound, he likes to settle things down. Cool, calm, good way to describe Noonan. Foley and Merrigan tie up behind the play. Susie and Soyless were battling it out as Graham has a pass elude everybody and come out to the neutral zone with 9.35 to go in period number two. Right wing side, Soyless gains the O zone, drop pass into space, Babin's got another save. We got immediate timeout, Matt, so we'll take a break on the Delaware Thunder.
Back here on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Face off deep in Thunder Ice. And Matt, the cool vantage point that we have is you get to see inside the benches from here. Yes, we do. Yep. Which you don't always get to see. So now we get to see down in the Prowlers bench what they're talking about. Down with the Thunder having a chat about Dalton Jay on his backhand and Babin flashed out the pad. Dalton Jay again had the puck roll off his stick. Look at Devaney's quick little pass. Ryan Marker right wing side. Nothing too dangerous there. I think Joe Noonan would sign up for that all night. Shot from outside the blue line. I think he would. I think that's the way he plays. You, you know, Mike, you got to love a guy who gets a point per game or over a point per game, and that's Cangelosi who scored tonight. He got the goal for the Thunder. 13 points in 11 games in a Thunder uniform, or 12 games, I should say, for Dan Cangelosi. Well, Dan Cangelosi's not only a scorer, he's a pest. Dalton Jay, a scorer, into the glove of Babin this time, though. Well, now they're just trading glove saves. As they say, anything you could do, I can do better. <laughs> Name that movie, Matt. Oh, come on, man. You put me on the spot. <laughs> Any it's a song, right? It's a song, uh, yes, of course. I, but I, I, I don't I know. Do you know? Yeah. Or, we'll let the fans see. Yeah. I'm sure they know. I'm sure somebody will chime <laughs> in on that. Somebody <laughs> definitely knows. Face off deep in Thunder Lice. We hope you're having a good time, like we are live at the Thunderdome. Always a great time in the Federal Prospects Hockey League. Look at Braz in here, tried to pull the trigger, couldn't get the shot off. Left wing side, Joe Devaney. Devaney to the attack out, marker going to the net, couldn't feather one through. Dan Cangelosi picks it up. Behind the net, the Prowlers break out of their own zone. With some speed through neutral zone, puck ends up all the way back at the blue line. And Marker with a good little defensive play to poke it free just for a second before it ends up on the stick of Dalton Jay. Joe Devaney forced the turnover, two on one with Marker. Devaney over to Marker in his skates, he couldn't pull the trigger. Oh, it looked like Noonan was dead to right. Out to the point, McKay fires a shot, blocked on the way through off the tall glass. Comes around for a shot on the stick of Devaney, couldn't pull the trigger. Dante Suffrandini gave it away. Devaney all over the ice, has the stick knocked out of his hands for a second. Picks it back up on the fly. Marker out from behind the net. Tries to wrap it home. Just shot it wide. Delaware all over the Prowlers here. Now back the other way. Dalton Jay working on McKay. McKay with the long reach. Got a piece and Jay shot it wide. Dalton Jay in a mess of Prowlers at the bench. Dangerous for a too many men. Graham makes a good defensive play. Another one there by Soilis. And back and forth we go. Alex Johnson now to Crawford. Three on two for the Prowlers. Wide open hockey. Crawford got Williams going to the net, finds him, but it's off his stick and to the half wall. Laporte pushes it forward. Lucchese looking for Morris, see nobody home in a black jersey. Soyless up the far wall, and we get a break just for a second as McKay slows things down. Woo! <laughs> just take a breath on that one. Uh, finally, we got rush, counter rush, counter to your counter rush. As Graham pushes this one forward to Crawford. Crawford right down main. Street to the attack. Slows down at the half wall. He looks for some space. Out to the point, Alex Johnson. Got a great tip in front by Graham. Now they hack away at it. Crawford tries to flip it over the glove of Babin. Ends up behind the net. Seven minutes to go in the second period. As these two teams, it seems like they're just trading offensive zone time. Laporte pushes it forward. Can't get it past the red line. And Matt Graham's in on a three-on-one. Graham with Johnson and Crawford. Over to Crawford. Tapped wide of the net, Merrigan got a piece. All the way out to the point, it comes to Soyless. He goes behind the net. Puck comes all the way around to Graham. Graham knocks it down, pushed behind the cage. Now it's Joe Brennan with it. Brennan over to Soyless, looking for space. All the way behind Crawford now. Crawford centering pass, hit Matt Graham. He's behind the net with the puck. He's got some room, banks it off of Babin. And Delaware is gonna try to clear up the near wall, but Dustin Henning says no. Henning pushed it forward, Lucchese took it away. Now Lucchese's gonna break out to center and find his man Shane Morrissey. Morrissey back to Lucchese, all the way over. Marker fresh off the bench, big shot, well wide though. And Merrigan's gonna pick it up all the way back in Thunder Ice. Let's talk about the long bench in hockey in the second period and the defensive end. That's where it helps out on the offensive end because Marker was able to hop right on and get a quick shot off. Morrissey's looking for Marker. Morrissey's got Marker. Marker behind the defense on the backhand. Oh, he couldn't push it by Noonan as he got it back to the forehand right at the last second. No icing. They'll say Merrigan could have got to this puck with 5.40 to go in the second. 2-1 hockey game. Noonan, Merrigan dropped it off. Yeah, Noonan coming out to cut down the angle and throw the pads down to deny Marker. Cangelosi kicks it 
skate to stick as he's to the attack. Angelosi off angle shot. Ooh, that nearly stuck behind. And a rare rebound by Noonan. Yeah, Our that almost snuck behind him. Henning behind the net, Cangelosi not happy with him. The fans in that corner having a great time as they're banging away on the glass as those two battle it out. Three on two for the Prowlers. Foley leads it over to Vertinenen. Cross ice pass, back door. Foley couldn't push it home. Three on two now the other way. Cangelosi right wing side, got Devaney with him. Fires a shot right into the breadbasket of Noonan. Dropped free for just a second and we get a media timeout. Five minutes even in period two. We'll take a short break. Back to the action here. Thunder and the Prowlers. Mike, I got I mean, these guys realize they played last night, right? <laughs> and they do realize they have a game tomorrow, right? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. These two teams are going crazy back and forth here. This has been a fun weekend thus far. And Matt, we got another one tomorrow. Brazen, left wing side. It's Justin Brazen to the attack. Good little move, but Merrigan had the answer for that move. Dalton Jay was right at the blue line. Susie made a play. Doesn't seem like much, but it's a big play because they have to reset and restart. Dalton Jay does exactly that. Fires it off Babin. Sits free right on top of the blue paint. Comes out to Brazen, who just shot it wide. And you saw where Brazen was looking over the stick of Trevor Babin. Merrigan all the way around to Susie. Susie pushes it forward. Nikita Andrasenko right by Brazen. Push forward, Mark Antoine Brulette. Andrasenko is going to slow the play down. Noonan makes a good little save there. That shot from Brulette is dangerous. Yeah, sneaky fast, as they say. Susie finds the puck. Brulette pushes it back to the point to Merrigan. Merrigan through traffic, puts a shot well wide of Noonan. Joe Brennan steps into this puck. He's right wing side. Now he's behind the net. He takes a bump from Williams, who's just so clean with his body checking. Justin Brazen's going to play it into a loose space. Crawford thought about skating into it, but end of a long shift, Merrigan finds it behind his net. Yeah, both teams making line changes now. Morris, he had Lucchese. He would have been behind his man. Laporte makes a great play. Laporte hassled from behind, uses the body to free up some space for himself and get it free. Lucchese had a chance on the side of the net. This one's going to go all the way down for an icing. All right, well, you know, they got, you know, the, with that line shift, they were able to catch uh, Port Huron back on their end and get a scoring chance. And now, because of that, it forced the Prowlers to ice the puck, and we got an offensive zone faceoff. Right, it doesn't seem like much, but an O-zone faceoff can always lead to a goal. And if you have the time and you can't avoid an icing, it's super important to do so. Faceoff to the left of Joe Noonan. Faceoff's one out to Shane Morrissey. Morrissey plays it behind the net. Justin Laporte, far corner, picks it up. Laporte takes a bump. Soyless, Merritt, Lucchese, and Laporte all in the corner. Out to the point it comes to McKay. McKay through traffic. There goes another puck as our director of security, James Piccone, <laughs> is going to pick it up. And I'm sure he's going to give it to a lucky fan. He will. And we keep the, keep the puck down on this end with another <laughs> offensive zone face off. Exactly right. It was McKay from the point who's now made his way to the bench. Faceoff's gonna be the right of the Har right of Harney, my apologies, I'm looking at him down from the booth here. Right of Noonan, as that shot hit Foley and nearly ended up behind Noonan. Marker out to the front, Devaney never received the pass. Cangelosi finds the puck, he takes a hard little bump there, and coming out the other way is Foley. Foley tries to push it past Devaney to no avail. And what we've seen from Devaney so far, Matt, is he plays in all three zones. And, he, you know, he's got quick, he's got the stick, and he has the moves. That's the thing. When, he's, when, when you get him one-on-one, -on -one, he, he, he's going to deke you, and he's going to get by you. That's exactly right. And that's exactly what he did last night to make it 2-0 Delaware. 
Right now, Delaware's in a 2-1 game, looking to change that here, and they nearly do. Charlie Bedard off a tip, it just goes wide. Here is Devaney, takes a bump. Joe Devaney pushes it back behind the net. Stavros Soyles has the puck now. Matt Graham chips it back behind the net. We got one more between these two tomorrow night. And just a reminder, tonight is you buy it, we sign it night here at the Thunderdome. Evan Foley, right wing side, pushes it behind the net. Puck comes to Charlie Bedard. He goes up the far side all the way around. Will it be an icing? No, no. this is going <laughs> to roll awkwardly all the way down. Newton had to come out and play it. Prowlers are coming back the other way, right wing side. Cade Lambden has it knocked away. Susie's got Brulette ahead of the play. The pass just eludes him all the way down for an icing. Oh, it was just there, Mike. It was just there. It was off, almost on the stick of Brulette, and Brulette was almost in, uh, on the right side of the red line, which would have negated an icing. And Charlie Penns is he's saying, eh, maybe, was it? No, yes, no. It was close there, and... Got a minute 40 left in period two. As always, thank you so much for joining. Mike Basile, Matt Penzik here in the broadcast booth. We sincerely appreciate all the fans tuning in tonight. As Joy Bernard banks this one up the near wall. Mark Antoine Brulette finds it. Little drop pass for Alex Soucy as Delaware looks to tie this game. Nikita Andrusenko, left wing side, goes for the tour of Harrington. Out to the point, Bernard. Oh, he tried to go back door. Soucy pass, never got there. Here come the Prowlers the other way. Three on two to the O-zone. Alex Johnson all the way across. Pass eludes Dalton J. As once more it comes back to Dalton J. Babin said no once, twice. And J.C. Moritz says you're not going to get a third chance here. And they'll clear up the near side to Mark Antoine Brulette. Brulette right wing side. Nifty little move. But Suffrandini had it red. All right, Comes so back out. Yeah, Brulette, you know, just bring it back out. Set it up again. See if we can get something going. Exactly right. As... It's so important to get those feet moving through the neutral zone, Matt. We have a tie-up with one of the linesmen here. As comes through to Cade Lambden. Tried to get it through to Dalton Jay. Here's Lucchese. Lucchese got it to Morrissey. Three on two. Looking back to Lucchese. Got off a piece. Laporte tried to jam it through the five hole. And Noonan said no. And he's got the puck behind his back with 30 seconds to go in the second. Yeah, Laporte on the backhand. You know, he just couldn't get enough steam on that puck to get it past Noonan or... But he was in great position. He just unfortunately, it was the stick wasn't where it needed to be to get a better shot off. 100% right. As the faceoff will be to the left of Joe Noonan. Joe Brennan and Henning tie up right at the half wall. They're both against the board. It's 23 seconds remain to the period. Lucchese not shy to throw the body around, but Crawford's out the other way. Crawford right wing side. Got Braz in with him. McKay pokes it away. Good little change of speed by Crawford there. As now the stick's knocked out of his hand by McKay. Puck comes around up the near side. Good little knock down there as Henning pushed it forward. Looked like he might have touched it with a hand, but nothing's going to come of this anyway as the second period has come and gone, Matt. Two periods of play have come and gone. Delaware 1, Port Huron 2, live on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel.
Well, Matt, we predicted more goals in period number two. We got one apiece. I think we were thinking a little more. I was thinking 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two after the second period. But we're in a 2-1 hockey game, and you look at both goaltenders, and it's a duel. This is a duel. Yeah, I mean, the game's clearly up for grabs. Uh, you know, I think with you know, with what we saw last night, maybe we expected that you know the goal production to increase. We're not getting that credit to the goaltenders, as you said. But a pretty even pl played second period. Two power play goals, one for each team, and uh, you know Delaware outshot Port here on 17 to 15. So they had that slight lead overall in the shots. So you know, I don't think we should be surprised. These teams have played. Three times coming into tonight, all three games have been close. Both the Delaware losses just by one goal, and then they got the 6-4 win last night. Right, and as we move on to the third period, Matt, let's talk about it. How does Delaware get another one past Joe Noonan? I mean, you could say, yeah, you got to take away his eyes, but what else can you do? Uh, you know, I don't. I mean, he's just. Uh, you refer to him as being cool, calm, and collective, and that's the way he's playing between the pipes. He doesn't allow the rebound, so I don't know what you can do to get the sh to get that second shot. You know, because I feel like Delaware has the – the shots have been a variety. They've, they've had the blast from the point. They've had the down low. They've tried to go on in. Um, and the, and Susie's been trying to screen him. So, like, I mean, the, 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 the effort is there in to get that second shot. It's just that he's not giving it up. Um, you know, we look at the way the play – ended that second period. Delaware did have a flurry. The Thunder control. They had that puck down there. Just couldn't get one to go. But, you know, it's right there. It's right there for them. You know, this is, you know, they were down a goal in the third period last night and came back to win it. So, you know, it's all on the table. And, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, it's there for them to take. 100% right. We'll be back. Period three.
Ain't that a pretty view at the Thunderdome? Mike Basile, Matt Penzik. Nobody said that was a pretty view, but the ice <laughs> looking good here we this evening. We need sheet of ice to start the third <laughs> period, Mike. We have not heard that before. The ice, yes, looking good <laughs> right now. But, Matt, we talked about it a little bit. Third period, five on five coming into this period, 2-1 hockey game. What's going to happen yeah, here, Matt? Yeah, I think this is the way, I mean, the score and where this game is, maybe not how he got here, but the fact that it is a one-goal game, I think we would expect that based on the way these teams have played this season. Delaware has played, uh, they've been involved in eight one-goal games, and we're on our way to perhaps a ninth. Delaware needs two to get one in the win column and make it two in a row this weekend. Right, and as you said on your Twitter account, seventh for Cangelosi, ninth for Merritt, both power play goals. Yeah, both teams are one for two on the power play tonight, so it's clicking. Uh, you know, that's, that could be a key uh, for the Thunder as Port Huron has struggled on the penalty kill throughout the season. The third is underway, and Alex Johnson has the puck. One of the goal scorers tonight is Alex Johnson. Got the goal scoring started, actually, tonight. Beautiful feed, cross ice, and he went upstairs on Trevor Babin. As he's only been solved twice tonight, and Joe Noonan's only been solved once. We got 20 minutes left. Foley's looking to change that. That shot's no problem for Babin on this clean ice surf surface. Right wing side, it's Marker. Marker goes all the way across to Cangelosi. Cangelosi puts one back towards the front of the net. Marker just jammed it wide. Devaney might have got a piece as well. I, I think definitely Devaney did get a piece of that one, and you know, there was some open net to work with. Joe Brennan's got it behind the net as Tristan McKay is his outlet pass. McKay's got time. He starts out with it, goes left wing side. Nikita Andrasenko watches this get dumped into the zone. Somebody got finished right below us. Merritt <laughs> got finished right below us. That's another <laughs> thing about this vantage point. Two on one. Vartanen couldn't pull the trigger, had Jay going to the net. Merrigan forces a loose puck, and this is where Merrigan's dangerous in transition. Quick up to Susie. Merrigan gains his way to the offensive zone as well, but Susie just chips it in. Merrigan's going to be the first to this puck. Merrigan finds it in the corner. Andrasenko finds an open space on the ice. Lambden finds the puck. Lambden pushes it a little too far ahead. Bernard doesn't take the puck. This time he does, and it's sent behind the cage. By the referee, it went off his skate, and it, that's what kept the puck in the zone. Otherwise, Delaware would have been able to clear it. Cade Lambden left wing side. All the way out to the point. Here's Dante Suffrandini through traffic. Babin had a little bit of trouble with that one as it sat free right in the low slot area. And Susie had it at his skates. And Dalton J, end of a long shift, pushes it back behind the net. 18.05 to go. And a scoreless third so far. Yeah, I'm a little antsy. I'd just like the Thunder to get this one out. And hopefully, and they do get it out and are able to make the line change because they hate to see something result from the referee keeping the puck, allowing the Prowlers to keep on the offensive attack. Dalton Jay finishes his check on Merrigan. Puck rolls behind the net, and Laporte finds it all the way around at the half wall. Justin Laporte gets a pick from Shane Morrissey. Laporte skates into the zone, and shot off the end of his stick rolls wildly wide. Lucchese chips it back out to the front where Joe Noonan covers. Yeah, there's that cool, calm Noonan. The puck was uh, right around in that blue part in his crease, and he just calmly covers it to force the faceoff. But I think he's okay with these offensive zone faceoffs. Uh, because he, I think it gives him an opportunity and his team to just settle things down. Faceoff will be to the left of Noonan as this one comes to Nick Williams, as we talked about, leader in penalty minutes. And he turns it over there to Lucchese. Lucchese tries to push it out to the front of the net. Pass couldn't get out there. And now out to the point, it's Bernard. Bernard through traffic. It was blocked on the way through. Morris, he was taken down to the ice by Williams. And the Prowlers just work it out to center. That puck hit a weird <laughs> bounce. And Caleb Williams nearly ended up home free as it's back to now Nick Williams. Yeah, fortunately, Justin, Moritz was able to just knock it back towards his own end. Justin Brazen chipped it in. And there is Moritz with the puck, getting it up to Shane Morrissey. Morrissey left it for Bedard. Intentionally or not, he pushed it forward. Morrissey takes a couple hacks and whacks, and he's to the O zone and shots it wildly wide, but Laporte's going to pick it up. Justin Laporte couldn't do anything with it as he flubbed it, and sloppy passing all around this period. Laporte to the high slot, out of play. Yeah, Foley might have been on his way up the ice, but the puck hit him and in weird position, and that allowed, allowed the Thunder to keep it on the attack and get that shot that did go out of play, but the Thunder do get the offensive zone faceoff. And I know it seems like light years ago now, but we go all the way back to this first period. Let's remember how this game started, the fight between oh. Adam, 
I mean, Brennan Young and Noah Wild. It was a crazy one as they squared up. Noah Wild got a few shots in Brennan Young. Jersey came over his head. It was a big fight. Both players ended up with a game misconduct out of that, which is rare from just a fighting major. And that was just that was before two minutes had even expired in the game. To be exact, 137. Ryan Marker, Tristan McKay. Well, I always said you're better at math than I was. So. <laughs> just a little bit. And as this puck comes right back to McKay, and he's going to use Joe Brennan as an outlet. Brennan rims it behind the cage. Joe Noonan knocks it down. Noonan... No problem slowing the game down with a 2-1 lead as these two teams have played tight contest after tight contest, Matt. Yeah, I mean, both games up in Port here on were one goal games. Fortunately, both losses for the Thunder, and then the Thunder got the win last night, 6-4. Six, Six was an empty net or so. It was a, you, you know that was a tight game. They had to come back to win it. Here's Dante Suffrendini up the left wing side. Suffrendini spins it out. Works back, and look at these nifty little moves. Cade Lambden's going to the net, got him, oh. and Babin has a save with the left pad. Trevor Babin keeping his team in it once more. Cangelosi out the other way. The goal scorer for the Thunder tried to split the D, and he is jammed, double teamed, and taken down to the ice. Cangelosi's not going to be happy as his helmet nearly popped off. And on a delayed offside, the Prowlers are back to center. Vertinen in, works it forward, gets into a shooting area, and shot it wide. Yeah, that 37th save on the night by Babin might have been his best, and it keeps Delaware down by one. Brulette to the attack, saved by Noonan. Susie and Merritt behind the play. Just had, wish it had a little bit more momentum because it was headed for over the shoulder of Noonan. Brulette to the attack again. Soilis knocks it down, out to Joe Brennan it comes. Andrasenko picks it up at the half wall. Works it over to Bedard. Bedard through traffic, puck is tipped, comes to Andrasenko, he couldn't pull the trigger. Susie with a great diving play to get it to Andrasenko. Andrasenko dangerously walks the blue line. Out to Bedard through traffic, tip, they score! Susie! It's 2-2, he got a piece right at the hash marks. Well, that started with De De Delaware was able to keep the puck in the zone. Bedard from the point was the one that fired it. Susie, we've been, he was been screening all night. He's been sitting in front of Noonan, and he gets one to go. And, hey, we are tied at two. Alex Susie with an absolutely wonderful tip. My apologies to Andrusenko. It was only dangerous to Joe Noonan. 14-31 <laughs> to go in the third, even at the Thunderdome. 2-2. Two -two. Moritz finishes his man. Puck goes all the way down. Not sure why it's not an icing. Laporte plays it forward. Here comes Lucchese, left wing side. Lucchese, shot blocked by Johnson. Brandon Lucchese tries a centering pass. It's knocked down. Crawford behind the net. It's two to two at the dome. Laporte picks it up. Had it knocked off his stick. And now Caleb Williams pushes it forward. Moritz knocks it down. Tied up. Knocked down by Joe Noonan. Boy, Susie, third period is money time for him. It was in the third period last night that he got the tying goal, and he gets the tying goal in the third period tonight. Nick Williams is going to lead a three-on-two rush for the Prowlers. He's got Merritt across, finds Merritt. Pass comes back to Williams in front. Tried to jam it by Babin to no avail. Tristan McKay, far side of the ice. He slows things down, comes all the way across. Laporte knocks it down. Laporte goes cross ice to McKay. McKay up the far wall. Giveaway. They slow it down. And go to the Ozone. It's Dante Suffrendini. Graham behind the net. Takes a bump. Over to Foley it goes. His pass read like a book by Shane Morrissey. Morrissey got Marker with him. Drop pass to Marker. Marker got Morrissey going to the net. Finds Morrissey. Morrissey tried to leave it for Cangelosi. Foley ends up on top of his goaltender. And out the other way is Marritt. Marritt to the O-zone, drop pass. They tried to go back to Marritt. Brennan dangerously avoids his own goaltender. Marritt out to the point, Soyless. Soyless through traffic. It's blocked on the way through by Bedard. They're going to have a stretch pass here. It's going to find Devaney. Devaney over to Marker. Marker into the backhand. Oh, what a save by Noonan as he got it with the top of the stick. Marker's got Devaney going to the net. Marker looking for Devaney, poked back out to the point and by McKay. What action here tonight. 
Babin knocks it down to McKay. And all the action is on this end of the ice. I'm pointing to my left because that is the Delaware offensive attack zone. They are put peppering Noonan and uh, they've tied it here and looking to get the go-ahead goal. They've all, Delaware has already four shots here in the third period. Media timeout, 2-2, two 12-10 to, two, to go. Delaware Thunder Hockey on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Two to two if you're tuning in. It's been a dandy. Face off won by the Thunder, Andrusenko. Plays it through all the way down to Brulette. And this one comes on to the stick of Alex Johnson. Johnson and the Prowlers. Now up to Dalton J. Right wing side, Kane Lamb in back door. They try to go back to Dalton J. They get it there and he pokes it just wide of the net. Prowlers had a 2-0 lead. That's been nullified. And now Alex Susi works it forward. Brulette kicks it to himself. Brulette goes to Andrasenko. Andrasenko takes a bump from Lambden. We talk about him quite a bit, Matt. He's been phenomenal. He has been. Uh, you know, what? Lambden is that pesky type of player that you can do a little bit of everything for you. Joey Bernard with a great defensive play there. And Brulette finishes Lambden against the wall. Tomorrow... A Sunday matinee at the Thunderdome. As Mark Antoine Brulette. And I think this is the slowest the pace has been here in the third period. As you know, now we're back to even Steven. Neither team wanting to make the mistake because you know you're looking at the possibility of the next goal being the game winning goal. Right, and there's Brazen back out on the ice. We haven't said his name all that much tonight, except for right there, because that's a turnover. But Marker gave it right back to the Prowlers. Marker tries to take it back away. And now it's Crawford with it. Left wing side. Crawford creates some space down Main Street now. Babin blockers it away. Puck comes to Brazen. Brazen behind the net with it. Drops it off to Caleb Williams. Brazen goes to the front of the net. Brazen tried to accept that feed. It hit the side of the net and rolled all the way around. There's Bedard up to Devaney through the skates of Henning. And it's going to be an icing on the Thunder with 10.25 to go in period three. And, you know, I mean, realistically, you can only sustain that type of, uh, you know, adrenaline rush for uh, for only a s s sustained period of time. Um, you just got to find a way to, to crank it up again when you need it. And, uh, you know, here we are at the midway point of the third period. Game up for grabs. Face off will be to the right of Trevor Babin. He's looking for win number four on the season. Babin has all three Delaware wins under his belt. Merritt ties up with Cangelosi in the dot. Puck comes all the way around. Knocked down at the half wall as Delaware trying to work this puck out of their own zone. They haven't spent much time in there in period number three. Nice. Devin, he pushed it forward with a hand pass. Marker knows it, so he just pushes it forward. And that's a good thing, even though Babin has been up to the task. I mean, credit, he's allowed only two goals tonight. And he's faced a variety of shots, too. I mean, he's been able to get the pads down low to you know, block the both sides of the net. Um, not as much as the glove as Noonan go to, but we saw the last one there where he blocked it aside. I, I don't know if that officially counts as a goal, but they did take the shot at him, and he was able to use the blocker to, to kick it towards the corner. Looks like Trevor Babin's having an equipment issue. Goaltender Greg Harney's helping him out. Harney, formerly a prowler, acquired in a trade to this Delaware Thunder team. And now the line's been helping out Trevor Babin as well here. As nothing, a little equipment issue won't slow down this contest. I mean, you know, we started with like a lot of shots in this game. You know, we commented on it, how many shots that both teams were firing on, fi firing on each goalie. Only five shots here in the third period, four for the Thunder and just one, just one for the Port Huron Prowlers. Face off, push back to McKay. Here comes Nick Williams. Gets his stick lifted by Morrissey, but he's still got the puck on his stick. 
Graham tries to jam it home in front of the net. Now he's got it behind the net. Matt Graham all the way out to the point. Johnson waits, goes back to Graham. Lucchese back door. Just flips it out to the neutral zone. Morrissey waits for it, and he picks it up left wing side. Morrissey gets it over to Laporte. Laporte's shot blocked on the way through and up and out of play. 9.45 to go, immediate timeout. We'll take a short break. When we return, more Thunder Hockey. to go in a tied up game at the Thunderdome. Port Huron two, Delaware two. It's credit to the Thunder, Mike, that the second night in a row, they've had a deficit in the third period and they've been able to erase it and you know play at even or an even score of the game and you've got to be wondering what Port Huron is thinking here they are in the third period taking a one goal lead into that third period and now they find themselves in a 2-2 hockey game. Face off will be to the right of Noonan. Both goaltenders, as we talked about, Matt, have been stellar between their respective pipes. And Justin Laporte's looking to change that. Laporte down low. Morrissey, oh, what a save by Noonan as he kicked out the right pad to make sure Morrissey couldn't jam it home. Yeah, Morrissey just could not lift the stick to get the puck over Noonan. Here is Shane Morrissey. Watch this pass over to Laporte. Laporte in space, fired, blocked by Soilis. Out to the point, Joey Bernard through traffic, blocked on the way through by Foley. You know, that's one thing that's going on here. There is a lot more traffic in front of Noonan that Delaware is able to get than they had the first two periods. Lucchese and Soilis tied up behind the net. And Matt Graham smartly just plays it to a place where Johnson can skate into. Johnson looking for Graham backdoor. That pass eludes everybody. Alex Johnson picks it up and just chips it towards Trevor Babbitt. J.C. Moritz knocks it down behind the net. Foley lifts the stick of Laporte. That hits the protective netting with 8.50 to go in period three. Trevor Babin on the night, you know, he's allowed just the two goals. He's faced 37 shots, so he, 35 of 37. And meanwhile, Noonan, he's faced 45 shots, so he's turned away 43 of 45. Face off to the right of Babin, and it's one right out to Suffredini, who just shot it wide. Henning had a step on Devaney. Behind the net it comes, Lambden jams it out in front, off the skates of Henning, and Devaney's out the other way, three on two. Left wing side, now it's Ryan Marker. Danny Cangelosi picks it up. Cangelosi just pokes it towards the net. Not much on that, and Dustin Henning's gonna turn on the wheels through the neutral zone. Works it over to Dalton J. it's in his skates, and Delaware might have an odd man rush here. Ryan Marker left wing side, Marker to the net, great little move, walks in, couldn't pull the trigger as he was hit, knocked down by Lambden, shot through traffic, blocked by Cade Lambden. Noonan was down, it was there, and he just couldn't get it. The Prowlers work it out the other way. Two on two to the O-Zone. Tristan McKay makes a good defensive play, but Brazen finds the puck. Brazen toe drag, oh my goodness. Brazen tries to jam it home off Babin. Then he hits Babin right in the face. Charlie Bedard not happy. Delaware's gonna go up a man. Brazen, not a smart penalty by Justin Brazen and Delaware to the power play. Yeah, Babin sticks on the on the ice out with that exchange too. So, you know, here we are. You, there's a, we're past the halfway point, under eight minutes to go. Delaware for the third time tonight going on the power play. They got one the last time they had the man advantage. Here they are again. 7.52 to go. Like you said, you got to take advantage of a power play that has, that, of a penalty kill, my apologies, that hasn't been all that successful this year. And Babbitt's not one to shy away from a fight. We saw him fight Owen oh, Liskowitz in Binghamton, <laughs> but this is a huge chance for the Thunder here. What a well-played third period by the Delaware Thunder, getting a goal to equalize things. When Babin has been tested, he's come up strong. And here the Thunder are on the power play. Face off one to Ryan Marker. Devaney goes right back that way, and Susie picks it up behind the net. Alex Susie sent it out to Morrissey, and he can't jam it past Noonan. Where's the puck? Right on there the goal is. line. Ooh. 
That was a little nifty play by Morris. He chopped it down, hoping to get that bounce past Noonan, but uh, Noonan able to cover. Face off to the left of Joe Noonan. I tell you, the toughest part of the game for me, Matt, left and right. What side of Joe Noonan is he on? He's on the left. Now it's Morrissey. Left wing. Out to Devaney. Devaney, cross ice marker. Marker, can low, can low. See, Morrissey was wide open back door. Puck tied up. It's Devaney. Back door looking for Susie to no avail. Bounces free to Marker, but he had his stick lifted by Foley, and Soilis clears the center. And for a moment there, they had the numbers, and the, there was plenty of open net to shoot at. Just couldn't get it to go. Just a twig sitting right at the yeah, red I line. Trying to figure out whose that is. I didn't see that happen as Marker right down Main Street to the attack. Oh! He scores! Ryan Marker, five hole, and it's 3 2 Delaware. He had an assist on one of the power play goals, and he gets a goal. Now nine points in three games against this Port Huron team. There is your leading scorer, the man who does it all offensively for the Delaware Thunder, Ryan Marker, and he puts the team on top. It's a power play goal for Marker, and the Thunder are up 3-2. Here's the guy who leads the team in goals. That's his 31st. Leads the team in power play goals. That's his seventh. It's a weird play. Noonan's going to want it back, but it was deflected by his own teammate and by him, and it's 3-2 Thunder. The only thing about this, Mike, you know, we had last night, it was with 92 seconds to go. This is still a lot of time in this one, and... And you do have some firepower on that port here on team. So you got to weather this storm, weather this 658. But Ryan Marker has given the Thunder a 3 to 2 lead. That's exactly what he's done as this puck hits Braz. And he knows he's going to need a goal because he was the one who took the penalty out in front. A nearly good chance as looks like taking a high stick there was Vertinen. He shakes it off and he's no. Problem back into the ozone. Dalton Jay's breaking out right wing side. Jay turns on the Jets. Jay gets by Brennan to the backhand. Babin's got the save and he covers for a whistle. You know, Jay's dangerous on the, you know, and got a little some sticks up there down low, but, uh, you know, Jay dangerous on that one on one. But, you know, that's also the type of shot I think Babin doesn't mind because it was off the backhand. Jay, even though he had the breakaway, could not get a lot of strength on that and it, you know it was a relatively routine save if you will for Babin. The bad blood is picked up as well Matt here. It's three to two Delaware as these two teams are battling it out. And, and if it's like this now what, what are you expecting tomorrow? Right right. That is 100% right Matt. There might be some you know there might be some players thinking they have some scores to settle before Port Huron makes the trip out of town. That is 100% right. Foley behind the net. Moves it on one more. This is Matt Graham. Graham plays it behind the net. Foley picks it back up. He ties up with his man. Finished by Danny Cangelosi. Puck stays deep in Thunder Ice. Foley knocks it down. Centering pass. Oh, my! Babin with the glove! And it remains 3-2. Do you remember, uh, you might not remember this at the beginning of the third period. I said that might have been Babin's best save. Now that I'm, is. I'm going to correct this. <laughs> I'm going to take that one. I want that one as his best save of the night. You wouldn't believe what Trevor Babin's been able to do tonight. And it's 3-2 still because of the right hand of Trevor Babin. The 38th shot he faces, that, that's his best one of the night. We said it last night. We'll say it again. Trevor Babin, take a bow as this game remains three to two. And I'll tell you what Babin does that's so impressive. He's a step ahead of most guys on the ice. He knows where the puck's gonna be, not where it is. That's how he's able to get over and get the glove on that. It also doesn't help that he is an athletic freak out there. And it, you know, th that can make up for a lapse on defense that he's able to anticipate and slide over and, and make those saves. And give his team, you know, give his team second life. Things are getting really nasty out here, Matt. Cangelosi involved, Moritz involved. A couple hits both ways, and 
There's Cangelosi finishing his check on Foley. And look at this. This is getting absolutely it, it, nasty out here. Cangelosi. And this is somewhat what we talked about, how it can get out of hand, and Alex oh. Johnson scores. <laughs> and look at this after the whistle. Matt Graham's helmet's ripped off. But we're all tied at three. And this is just out of hand right now. With all that action going on, the extracurricular activity, if you will, I would have preferred it if it was at the other end because, unfortunately, what happened just happened with Port Huron getting a puck in the, you know, with too many thunder below the goal line. Numbers were in the Prowler's favor, and they have tied the game at three, and now Williams and Susie having some words here in front of the referee's crease. And Babin and I believe it was Alex Johnson just Chucking the puck down at each other. Joe Noonan wants nothing to do about, nothing to do with it. And that's Joe Noonan for you. He's so calm, cool, collected down there. He gives up a goal to make it three to three. His team ties it back up. And he wants nothing to do with the extracurricular stuff right now. And I'm not going to lie to you, Matt. Whatever team could stay out of the box is going to win this game. Agreed. Delaware two for three on the power play. So Port Huron would be wise not to do anything not smart, if you will, to give Delaware that chance to go up a band. Bernard through traffic, tipped out a play by Joe Noonan with 5.16 to go. Well, you got to credit Port here on because all the momentum was going against them. They coughed up the 2 nothing lead, and for the second night in a row, they, they blew a one-goal lead in the third period. So all the momentum was on the Delaware end, and you know, give them credit for finding that next gear and be able to tie this game as we are approaching the waning minutes here in the third period. It's been nasty. It's been everything in a hockey game you want. Shot off the glove of Noonan as Brennan gets it to Laporte behind the net. Laporte out to Brennan, and he couldn't jam it home, and we got a penalty coming on the Prowlers. Ask it's a high stick. And ye shall receive. Dante Suffrandini, he's not arguing it all that much. I believe it was Joe Brennan who took the stick up high as he tried to release that one. Two for three are the Thunder on the power play tonight. Fourth one is huge. And you hear Alex Johnson saying, there's five minutes left, let us play. And they let all that go back there, well, so I been, understand. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot that's been let go. Right, right, but a high stick is when it's up there and it hits the guy in the face, it's one of those penalties that you see it, you gotta call it, obviously. And that play by Henning was dangerous as now Marker gets his grade A scoring chance. And that puck's out of play and we'll get our final media timeout with 4.52 to go in this contest. Thunder and the Prowlers live. Delaware Thunder Pro Hockey on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Mike Basile, Matt Penzik. Matt, I just said it. Mike. Next power play could win the game. Let's see if I'm a fortune teller. Am I playing my lucky numbers tonight? Shane Morrissey trying to help me do so, but Joe Noonan had other ideas for me. And he said stay out of the casino, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Cangelosi lurking like a shark and... Uh, Noonan got the pads down, closed them to deny that opportunity. 20 seconds into this fourth power play of the night for the Thunder. Right, and a reminder, it's you buy it, we sign at night, which is a whole lot of fun. Team, our merch table has some awesome merch. We have team photos up now as 
The faceoffs one to Morrissey. Cross ice, Devaney. Far circle, Devaney is absolutely crushed by Merritt. He wore the hit though, appears to be more than okay. And cross ice pass comes to Morrissey. Morrissey down low, Marker. Marker opens up, creates some space. Where is he going with the puck? Back to Morrissey. Morrissey, left wing side, down low, Cangelosi. Cangelosi goes in between his legs and Foley finds the puck and he's got room to clear. And that's exactly what he does. And that'll, yeah, that allows uh, some fresh legs on the ice for Port Huron on this PK. Babin gave it away to Dalton J, and Dustin Henning's got all the time in the world to clear. And watch this, right on goal. Marker in his own zone, out of the corner with it. Ryan Marker, left wing side to the attack. Marker gains offensive ice, working on Dustin Henning. Feathers one through. Morris, he couldn't get it to go. It bounces back to Tristan McKay, who fanned on it. And here's Dalton J. Dalton J right by the defense. J to the attack, and he scores. McKay fans on the shot. J makes the Thunder pay, and it's 4-3 on a shorthanded tally. Well, it was just a matter of time before Dalton J got, on the, got in the scorebook. And here is a guy coming into the game that had three shorthanded goals that was tied for second most in the FPHL. And he gets a shorty there. Still 41 seconds of power play time. So Delaware is able to maybe pot one here. Just what a roller coaster ride of emotions. Delaware had the momentum for the good part of this third period as they tied the game, took the lead. But since then, they've allowed two goals by the Prowlers. Right, and now with just 3.25 to play, Puck's out at the point in the skates of Joe Brennan here. And it comes back out to center where it's rimmed back around with just 10 seconds to go on the power play and it's all the way back down. All the way back down it comes behind Trevor Babb and it goes. Joey Bernard picks it up. Bernard goes down Main Street to Lucchese where even here giveaway to Stavro Soiles. And the puck's rimmed behind the net. Joe Brennan picks it up as we're under three to go in this third period. Brennan gave it away to Brazen. Brazen and Brennan tie up. Net looked like it popped off for a second, came right back to where it was supposed to be, though. Yeah, the Thunder need to get this puck out, get some offensive zone play work, so that'll allow Babin to go to the bench. Lucchese shot is blocked. Brulette tried to go back to Lucchese. The puck rolled on him. A couple bodies tie up. Lucchese, like you said, a little feisty tonight as this one comes all the way down to Brulette and back to the neutral zone to Charlie Bedard. Sent right back in. Prowler's calling for an icing. Not going to get it. Are they, they will not. Nope. nope. The time running out here. And the Thunder desperate need of getting some puck possession and have the, have the play at this end of the ice. 2-0 game. That one hit the stick of Moritz and goes all the way down. Dalton Jay's going to win this race. Centering pass. Nobody home in a white jersey. I'll keep an eye on Babin, Matt, as Devaney is out the other way. We have a penalty here. It's going to be a hold. And look at Merritt go at it with Devaney. Are you seeing it? Oh, yeah. Merritt from over Merritt, the bench. Yeah, he's just... Uh, it's the second time that uh, I think Devaney's been, tr tr that the Prowlers have attempted to goad him into a penalty, if you will, and Devaney not taking the bait. But, all right, the power play has worked tonight, two for four, and here's, here's the chance. Here's the chance. We'll see six on four, I'm sure, as well. Media break. Timeout. Back here at the Thunderdome. It's a power play for the Thunder, and looks like they're ready to drop the puck, but Joe Noonan's not ready. Four to three game. Can the Thunder tie it up is the big question. Face off to the left of Noonan. Comes all the way out to the point to Devaney. 
Babin still in the net. He's going to wait for the Thunder to set it up. As they do set it up, he gets to the bench. Six on four power play for the Thunder. Morrissey behind the net. Morrissey out in front to Marker. Big save by Noon, and that one stung him for sure with 1.34 to go in the contest. Well, it was around this time last night that the Thunder were able to get some magic, but there was a game-winning goal. Now they are in need of that tying goal to get this to 4-4 four to four and perhaps extend the game. Right, and we look at the hold on Devaney as we see it on replay a little while later as he's just pulled down from behind. He was hassled the whole way. Morris, he can't keep it in at the line. This could be a giveaway, but Devaney beats Jay to the puck. That net is empty, so Delaware has to be careful. Susie, a vocal leader on the ice. And Nikita Andrasenko picks it up and goes right down Main Street. Now he goes for a tour. Corrals a bouncing puck. Tried to work it out to the point. Knocked down by Dalton Jay. Cleared. That's the only good thing about being shorthanded. You could do that with no issues. I mean, the Thunder had the rest of the period, but what is left of it to on the power play. And they are skating six on four. Devaney right to the slot. Dropped it for Susie. Nothing doing. This one towards the empty net and wide. As we said, they're short-handed, so no icing. Marker picks it up behind his own net. Ryan Marker's going to get the boots going here. Ryan Marker left wing side. Marker right over the blue line. He makes a great move. Tries to chip it past Noonan, but he got it with the blocker. This one cleared only as far as Shane Morrissey. Morrissey over to Marker. Marker threw traffic, shot it wide. Cangelosi side of the net, no goal. And the net popped free. 30 seconds even to go, Matt. Oh, my goodness. And again, I think it's just one of those bad luck things because the rebound, there was a rebound and there were the Thunder due to have numbers, so play could have continued and perhaps another opportunity, but the with the net just popping off momentarily, it does stop play. Face off will be to the right of Joe Noonan as this one is tied up and it gets to Dustin Henning. Knocked down right past Devin. E. Foley's gonna win the race to this loose puck and he's gonna tap it in the yawning cage. Prowlers are going to go on to win this one, 5-3. It's a shorthanded goal. It's the second one they've had tonight. And it's 5-3 Prowlers. Susie and William, again, these two jawing at it during these stoppages of play. I wonder... If they're going to go here with just 20 seconds to go, I doubt it. Well, you have tomorrow, so. Williams and Henning out just to make sure nothing comes of it. It's 5-3 port here on. Face off one back by Andrew Sanko. Susie and Williams just holding each other here. Andrew Sanko picks up the puck behind the net. Centers it out to Susie. Tried to jam it home. Poked wide of the net. Susie knocks that net off. Him and Williams still chatting it up with just seven seconds to go. Well, my, you, you have to wonder if maybe nothing's going to happen tonight, but less than 24 hours from now, we're back right here. Way less than 24 hours. We're here. They're going to be here, and I'm sure we're going to have more of this. Matt, yeah, we have another one tomorrow, 3 o'clock. Get your tickets, DelawareThunder.com. As Susie and Williams tie up one last time here. And the final seconds run off the clock. The Thunder and the Prowlers with a 5-3 final tonight. Well, they did decide to go a little bit. I don't know if how much is going to go. I don't think any more yeah, will come of this. A couple bear hugs there, and that'll be that for tonight. That's going to be all she wrote for this one, Matt. It's a 5-3 final from the Thunderdome. The Prowlers take down the thunder you'll be with me here tomorrow afternoon we gotta head out we gotta head to the conference room as it is you buy it we sign at night matt thanks so much for joining me this evening we'll talk to you tomorrow all right pleasure to be here have a good night